Race 15 lined up there, ready to go. The intermediate trophy, RS Motorcycles. Uh, I think a couple of people missing from the grid there off second position, which I think is probably Ben Harmon, which was sidelined early on the day. And uh, getting down to have a look at the bikes in the uh, dummy grid there, the majority of them have uh, put on wets, full wets. So uh, we had a shower come through just before the start of the motard class and uh, made that slow those lap times down by about five seconds. And right now it's a matter of uh, hopefully everybody's had their tyre warmers on their uh, spare set of uh, wet weather tyres and got them up to temperature and uh, right now I can tell you we've got some points through for the meeting so far for the uh, classes that have done three races in the day. Rogan Chana leads the uh, senior trophy with uh, 67 points, Hayden Fitzgerald 63, Malcolm Belsky on 63 as well. Uh, they've had a win each, a second uh, who's had the most? Hayden Fitzgerald had a, uh, a win, a second, and I think a fourth place. Ashton Hughes in fourth, Devil Gibbs, Zeran Wiki, Luke Jelly, Jesse Wiki, Ryan O'Neill, and Michael Sorensen, the top ten in that class. Already a good, big lead there down the back straight by Neil Chappie. Well, he's got about 100 metres. Where is Roger Cathro in this situation? Roger's way back there in third place, 250 metres off uh, first with... Richard Markham Barrett circulating there in second spot. Uh, he slowed considerably in the last race. I thought it might be a machine problem, but they've got that sorted out. Eight lap race here. The meeting has been declared wet earlier on in the day, so there is no time allowance for people to change their uh, tyres. And uh, I'm not too sure whether we're going to get much more or any more rain come through. So difficult conditions for everybody out there on the track. The Motard class, Cudge Scott there with 72 points, leads Tony Hirony, 65 points, Mark Oliver, 54 points, and uh, Michael Kyle on 54 points as well, with Roger Bland in behind him there in fifth spot, Glenn Brown, John Oliver, Wilson Woods, and uh, a DNF for James Clark. Uh, so that's eight uh, point scorers in that class. Looking out onto the track at the moment, uh, with just one lap down, we're running around the 122s at the moment and Neil Chappell on this beautiful 650 I've been I was struggling earlier on today to work out what actual bike it was being in the commentator's box I can't hear things unless I uh, stop talking and uh, we're here to inform you about the, the racing of the day but I look at the bike could see two exhaust pipes and heard him warming up on his bike while I checked up tyres and it's definitely a um, 650cc ER6 Kawasaki and it's got a beautiful exhaust pipe uh, mid speed titanium system on there and uh, here he is lining up to do another uh, lap down the front straight uh, we had a 122.099 for the first standing start lap We're down into the 19s now and second spot there on the 250cc two stroke the number 47 machine the speed junkie NSR 300 Richard Markham Barrett and a battle on here for third place between Roger Cathro and Excuse me, and number 17, Chris Bean. Now, Roger Cathro is usually what I would call a wet weather specialist, but um, possibly struggling today as we see Chris Beans go up on the inside of him into turn one. So uh, I thought, I'm sure I saw Roger Cathro out there on wets, but uh, it's uh, just him getting to grips with how it's all going and uh, and uh, how his bike setup is. So struggling at the moment, but uh, still enough to do fourth place. He's definitely slower than he should be out there, but uh, at the end of the day, the man's riding with his head and not uh, throwing it all away and injuring, uh, possibly uh, having injuries and uh, machine damage as well. So I'm expecting Roger to sort of get a little bit quicker as it comes along. Uriah Riken's out there on the 2005 450 Suzuki. Never came out of the factory as a 450, came out of the factory as a 600. But as I've said all day today, a lot of guys are getting these bikes, disabling one cylinder and uh, turning them to 450, which makes them eligible for the uh, class here at the moment, the intermediate trophy and also the... Uh, New Zealand Superlight uh, Formula 3 class. Formula 3 at uh, the Suzuki Series, uh, which the dates are out now. There's still the uh, Taupo, then Manfield, and then the famous Cemetery Circuit. They are a week later than normal because of the way the weeks are revolving over there. So, uh, and, um, and, of course, that same bike is eligible for the Superlight class, which is what the Formula 3, former class Formula 3, is called at the New Zealand Superbike Champion. Chip, uh, level. So Neil Chappell goes through there and we've had Richard Mark and Barrett go through there. Beams held on to his lead there from Roger Castro there. He's uh, He's got that lead. In fact, he's broken away from there. I think Roger Castro has lost another place there. Uriah Riken's gone through on the inside. Yes, we can see that happening uh, going up into the Toyota quarter. So uh, interesting to catch up with Castro and see uh, 
what uh, what has happened here because as I mentioned before he is uh, what I would consider a wet weather expert and certainly puts on a show in the dry but uh, ups the ante a little bit uh, in the wet and behind him is uh, Uriah Riken on the black machine with Chance Oliver Stevenson there on the SV650 somewhere out on the track in sixth position and look can't even see where he is actually Chance Oliver Stevenson um, he had a crash earlier today in the uh, left hander in the S's but uh, he's back out there in fact I think that's Chance Oliver Stevenson down through the centre straight with his hand up in the air so uh, he's out of action so uh, he's pulling over going into Higgins as we see Neil Chappell on uh, lap four come through and still the fastest man on the track Joe all right chances a girl sorry <laughs> what's the chances of that thanks for the update on that yeah 50 50 i guess <laughs> yeah i guess it's yeah 50 50 some countries are uh, it's not but uh, chances a lady young lady from i think morrisville and uh i see in the news this week that uh her motorcycle, well, one of her motorcycles was burnt to the ground in, in a uh, couple of house fires out there. So uh, that's a bit disappointing. Good to see uh, her back at the track. And uh, importantly for the mental health sort of issue, when, the, when you have a fire in the house, it can't be different. Uh, it can't be easy. And that's just happened this week. And it's great to see that uh, she's managed to get up here and uh, get her mind away from things all be just for a weekend and then get back down to whatever they've got to deal with with that. So uh, the lead bike is... Uh, Oh, mate, it's got to be going round the, uh, into the uh, big sweeper there, the Go Media quarter. Neil Chappie, Chappie on the number 76 machine, the only man under 20 seconds at the moment, 1 minute 20 seconds, running round at a 1.19.052, the best lap time, a 1.19.22 for the next one. Has he got faster? Is the track drying out? Yes. No. Yes. He is a little bit quicker, no, a little bit slower, 120.9. So either he's realised that he's got a lead of, uh, I would say, probably up to about 15 or 18 seconds. We'll tell you now when the timing comes through. 12 seconds, 11.954. He's probably realised that he's got enough to do and just get the job done with three laps to go. So Richard Mark and Barrett on the NSR 300 goes through there in second place. We're looking out to the sweeper and Chris Beans on the... Uh, Single-sided swing arm VFR 400 NC30 goes through in the Repsol colours. Um, into third spot there with Uriah Reich in there on the 67, 57, sorry, the 57 machine on the GSXR 450. And number 24, TSS Red Baron sponsored uh, Roger Castro there on the RS motorcycles, Yamaha R450, fifth place there on the track. Gonna go and have a look through, see if I can find the results of the first race of the day. Don't have them for the second, but we're on the intermediate trophy. It was Chapel, Castro, Mark and Barrett, Kyron O'Neill. Kyron O'Neill's not even out there at the moment, so it may be uh, a tyre problem he's got, you know, because as I say, it uh, rained in the last session, and uh, some people not quite got uh, the wet weather tyres. I don't know. Actually, looking at the track, there is it really wet weather tyre country at the moment. There's no water pooling. Hopefully, that's just uh, one little bit of rain come on through so back into the 19s Neil Chapel. that tells us that the track is drying and he's working his way around there his quickest lap time was a 19.052 and that was a 19.649 um, quicker again no slower again Richard Mark and Barrett uh, went from the 121s to the 122s he knows that he there's no way in fact he's been lucky to be able to see the lead bike there anywhere on the track he might just caps it, capture it along the uh, back straight or along the front straight there's 15 seconds between them so he knows he's in a good solid second spot we've got to look a long way back and here we go across the start finish line now 17 twist beams there it goes through in third place he's running around in the 124s um pretty consistent lap times fastest 124 8 uh, last lap at 124.9 so relatively consistent with that lap time here we go uh roger castro the man that's got a lot of air time at the moment has slowed even further he's running around in the 129 so i'm going to have to say that he either has thrown those wet weather tires in there and they're not up to temperature uh, or he hasn't adjusted the suspension hasn't had the time to adjust the suspension there was no time to get sorted out really the meeting declared wet earlier on in the day so the rules say that once it happens once the racing's going on you've got to keep on going with it it's up to you to change your tires makes it a little bit difficult but it is the same for everybody out on the track there uh, the white flag is out the white flag is out as uh, is that neil chapel gone through neil chapel's gone through and lowering his lap times once again this is race 15 of the day the intermediate trophy the rs motorcycle so we've got coming up three more races for the end of the day senior sprint we've just had a five minute call for that the junior trophy 
and the intermediate sprint. So this is an eight lap race, was an eight lap race, or, and we've got a five, a six, and a five after this. So looking out where is the lead bike, Chappie comes out of that uh, hairpin. Uh, look, people, just got to get along and have a look at a spike in the pits and see that beautiful titanium mid-speed exhaust pipe and uh, just art in itself. I don't know what they cost, but uh, I'll tell you what, you won't spend better money on something that looks prettier than that on a motorcycle. And custom made for this bike, uh, and uh, young... Uh, it's, it's not Matthew Meads, I'm trying to think of his name. Sorry, there's a several Meads I know. There's Chris Meads. He was... Um, racing motorcycle sidecars for a number of years and post classics is uh, Matt Meads. I think Matt's uh, involved somewhere along the line with uh, with uh, uh, Hayden Fitzgerald as a pit boy. He was at the New Zealand Superbike Championships and that. Uh, so anyway, one, his name will pop into my head in a while. But have a look at that pipe. That pipe is just one around the bike of uh, Neil Chappell on the uh, 76 machine. Uh, looking out there, it's a long way back to Richard Mark and Barrett there. It'll be something like 20 odd seconds. In fact, I can't even see him. Oh, here he comes round the big sweeper there, the uh, red and black uh, bike, the red and black leathers. Richard Mark and Barrett comes through there in the 47 bike for second place. Over on the back, I'm going to tell you, it's Chris Beams there on the 17 bike. He goes down that back straight. I'm going to leave you with it and put some music on, folks.